Parrots are notorious for having those things that they repeat over and over. When I was a kid, it would drive me crazy. Do your homework, do your chores, stop saying I don't know. But as much as it drove me crazy, I know now that the things that my parents repeated, they did so because those were the important things that they didn't want me to miss. Well, I mean, it might have had something to do with the fact that I just didn't listen, but mostly because they just didn't want me to miss it. And just like a parent, when the Bible repeats things, we need to pay attention because it's probably really important. So if something is repeated in scripture, we need to pay attention to it and learn from it. The word wisdom is mentioned over 200 times in scripture, and that's just the actual word wisdom. The subject of wisdom is talked about way more. That's a lot. But what is wisdom? Where does wisdom come from? The world defines wisdom in many different ways. Common sense, insight, applying knowledge and experience to problems, making good choices, etc. Or maybe you've heard it like this. Knowledge is knowing a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. Or maybe you picture wisdom more like this, Master Yoda. But that's not true wisdom. That's not God's wisdom. 1 Corinthians 3.19 says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. The wisdom that we learn about in the Bible refers to the pursuit of godliness and making good choices by using the knowledge of God's word. Proverbs 2.6 says, For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So where do we find wisdom? Where do we start in our pursuit of wisdom? We start with the word of God and by understanding that he is the only true source of wisdom knowledge and understanding.